The world's first clinical trial supports the use of kava to treat anxiety. University of Melbourne, Australia, May 13th, 2013. In summary, a world's first completed clinical study by Australian-led team has found that kava, a medicinal South Pacific plant, significantly reduced the symptoms of people suffering anxiety. The study led by University of Melbourne, published in the Journal of Clinical Psychopharmacology, revealed kava could be an alternative treatment to pharmaceutical products for the hundreds of thousands of Australians who suffer from generalised anxiety disorders. Lead researcher Jerome Saris from the Department of Psychiatry at the University of Melbourne said GAD is a complex condition and significantly affected people's day-to-day -day lives. Existing medications have modest clinical effect and new effective options were needed for patients with anxiety. Based on previous work, we have recognised that plant-based medicines may be viable treatment for chronic anxiety. In this study, we've been able to show that kava offers potential natural alternative for the treatment of chronic clinical anxiety. Unlike some other options, it has less risk of dependency and less potential for side effects. It goes on. It was a 75 patient, eight week study um, of people who had been diagnosed with the GAD disorder. Um, they were given kava or placebo. Following completion of the controlled phase, 26% of kava group were classified as in remission. Participants in the kava group were given tablets twice a day. Uh, soluble extracted kava for a total dose of 120 milligrams of kava lactones for the first three weeks controlled phase. In the cases of non-response, this was increased to a double dose twice a day for the second three week controlled phase. Kava was well tolerated and results showed no significant differences across the two groups for liver function which had been previously been a concern for Carver's medicinal use. So it had been previously a concern. In addition, there were no considerable adverse reactions that could be attributed to Carver and no difference in withdrawal or addiction between the groups. Future studies. The study was funded by NHMRC and Integria Healthcare who manufacture Mediherb and Thompson's Carver products. Materials were provided by University of Melbourne and that's the general reference for the published study.